Hey everyone, MJav here. April was an incredible month for G2 Esports, and I'm here to bring you some of the highlights. Our League of Legends team returns to their place as champions of Europe as they win the first ever LEC Spring Split. Led to the Ahoy Arena by our new G2 Samurai, the boys claim the title in a 3-0 victory against Origin. Their dominating win also included a record-breaking final match as the fastest game in a European final and the LEC. In addition, our mid laner Caps was also awarded the Spring Split MVP for his incredible performances throughout the season. He and the team will now travel to the Mid-Season Invitational to compete against the best teams from each region. In CSGO, we finished top of our group in ESL Pro League Season 9, beating Fnatic, Windigo, and Na'Vi for a 3-0 record. This advances us to the finals at Montpellier in June, where we're gunning for more wins. In Hearthstone news, both Tice and Radu have been chosen to compete in the European Hearthstone Grand Masters starting this month. If they play their cards right, they can qualify for the Global Finals with a prize pool of $500,000 at the end of the year. Our Rocket League team kicked off RLCS Season 7 with a reverse sweep versus Space Station Gaming. We finish out the season with a record of 6-1 to take second place in the round robin for the North American RLCS. We not only jump straight through to the semifinals, but also secure our spot in the World Championships. We were also excited to see the release of new G2 Esports cosmetic items for Rocket League. Now you can show off your G2 Army pride with in-game items and decals. Grab yours today in the Esports shop in-game. This month, we also welcome Jowy Bear as a new streamer for G2. An avid PUBG player and variety streamer, we're delighted to have her as a part of the G2 army. Lifting the trophy was not our only success in Rotterdam. Our booth at the Ahoy Arena was a massive success, with huge crowds, a Q&A and signing session with our League of Legends team, and the return of 1v1s against our CEO, Carlos. We also were proud to celebrate our two-year anniversary in Berlin, Germany, with the unveiling of our brand new office. Joined by players, partners, and friends, we opened our new workspace in style. Get yourself some fresh threads in our shop, because we've put out plenty of new merch. Available now is a bundle deal for a custom name 2019 jersey and an LEC Champions tee. Want to ring in the spring? Our new spring collection dropped on April 25th with a wide range of G2 branded gear. Order now at shop.g2esports.com. We enjoyed events with our partners during April. At TwitchCon EU in Berlin, we set up a streaming station with Logitech G and featured all kinds of G2 talent, including Lothar and Maxime MXM streaming Fortnite and Hearthstone, on-screen streaming Apex, and our whole PUBG roster teaming up with fans for games live at the station. Lothar, along with support from PaySafeCard, put on a stream to celebrate the new Hearthstone expansion and PaySafeCard's availability on the Battle.net store in Poland. The stream event included co-host Falcone, G2 Hearthstone players Tyson and Radu, as well as Polish Hearthstone players Agravain and MKRR3. For upcoming events and matches in May, mark your calendars for all the G2 action coming your way. Our League of Legends team plays in the MSI main event starting on the 10th. We'll be facing SK Telecom T1 and Invictus Gaming on day one, and are looking forward to seeing who else will qualify in the play-ins. Our CSGO team will be playing in the DreamHack Open Tours from May 17 to 19. You can watch our Rocket League team battle through the regional playoffs on May 11. Tyson Radu will be playing in the Hearthstone Grandmasters from May 17 to July 15. Lastly, at DreamHack Dallas, our Rocket League and CSGO teams will be playing starting May 31st. That's the drop on April news for the G2 Army. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on all of the latest G2 content and news. Until next time.